Glenn Parker. <clears throat> Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. Me, 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 me. You're watching Glenn TV. So I had planned on starting the kidney detox today, and yes, boys and girls, I did. I forgot how much liquid you have to drink in this process. I'm on my second cup of tea, and there's a drink that you're supposed to drink beforehand, which is like 32 ounces, and there's two 16-ounce cups of tea. So you literally, literally, and then when you wake up, <clears throat> there's eight ounces of water. So literally in a very small amount of time, you're drinking over half a gallon of liquids. Cheers. So, oh my. But I did want to share that the tea is quite tasty. I forgot. It's been a long time since I've, um, I've had the kidney detox tea. It is very, very, very tasty. And a little strong when you add like the concentrate for the kidney detox tea, which you're supposed to add like a couple eyedroppers of this. And, and then afterward, you're supposed to have the concentrate of the detox, which is the detox tea, basically, and some other things mixed in. It's not quite exactly the detox tea, but it has a lot of the core ingredients of the detox tea from HerbDoc.com. And no, I don't sell any other stuff, and I don't get commission. I wish I did so that I could actually, you know, have some... I, I, I would do a trade so that I could actually have some more detox kids. <laughs> but... This is just something that I've done previously and I've done it two or three times and I wanted to share with you. The home stretch, this is like, seriously, my eyeballs are floating. This is the last little batch. And then it says three eyedroppers of the detox. And I left a little bit of the tea in there because this stuff is Amazingly, here, that's one. Audience participation, two. Whoa, you can smell that stuff. But I will tell you what though, when you take this, and that's three. The detox tinctures I've bought just by themselves and taken and my insides are so happy. So, mixy mixy, and you can like put grapefruit juice or apple juice or something in with the detox one. I like it pure. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, I think I might suggest like, woo, wakey wakey. I definitely would suggest, let's make sure we get all of this. The other thing that I've noticed in days past is that the detox tincture stains glass which is highly unusual so you can't let it sit in there you have to make sure that you get it all out cool because I've actually had glasses very fine glassware um, like the little eight ounce ones that I put some detox tea in and maybe I left it I went and had a conversation or something before and or I didn't like clear it out with some fresh water and Oh my, it actually literally stained the glass. So important safety tip, always make sure this is all removed from your glass. Plus you don't want to waste any, you don't want to leave any behind. That's the good stuff right there. Ooh, that does make the insides feel good. So if you're looking, excuse me. Sorry, boys and girls, there's like over a gallon of liquid in there. <laughs> so boys and girls, if you are looking to do some detoxing, the kidney is a wonderful place to start. Actually, the first place to start is the bowel. And then work your way to the kidney and liver unless you have some critical liver issues or you think that your liver is just really not processing well. But it's so much better to clean the kidney out before you clean the liver because when you dump everything out of the liver, the kidney has to process it and it gets back in your blood and all these things. So having your kidney and, and your bowel more effective before you do a liver detox is... From me, from me personally, is highly recommended because just the biomechanics of it and dumping out all the stuff from the liver, really, if your kidneys are already underperforming, you're going to overtax them uh, and, and make them work even harder. So make your kidneys happy first and then make your liver happy. So I personally, I like bowel detox, kidney detox, and then liver. And then just keep rotating back through. Now, if you feel that 
your liver is still very, very toxic, or if you've been a smoker, or you've taken a lot of medications, or any number of ideas if you know you've been exposed to heavy metals, or if you've gone through a process to check yourself for heavy metals, and you think that your liver is really toxic, sometimes you can do two rounds of the liver detox. And I've done that previously, and that works really, really well. And if nothing else, let's say you can only afford to pay, I think these are like $28 or $32, you can catch them on sale, um, just get one of these and this will detox the liver and everything. You know, this, this is basically a whole bowel, um, liver, kidney, this basically will go through and eat everything. So even if you have a smaller budget and you want to do it passively, you can just take a little of this throughout the day and passively detox um, or buy the detox tea. I find making the detox tea for a lot of people with a challenge schedule, work, kids, school, what have you, that this is so much easier. And you can take it with you, you know, put it in a little Ziploc bag, put it in your bag. And when you need it during the course of the day, a couple eyedroppers and bam, you're done. That is really, really, really nice. And I will note, I used to have these little raccoon things. That's that's like a little rash, but um, I used to have like this discolorations and these little raccoon things. And when I take the detox tea and or this, they disappear. So I think that says a lot to biomechanics and just the efficiency of your organs to be able to go and do their job. Like uh, I look like, you know, very aged. And then a whammy whammy, a couple of these throughout the day, or some tea. The tea does a much better job because of the volume that the, it allows your body to flush it out. Um, but when you're in a pinch, you know, time management, if you have to, you can go this route. And then, you know, very, very quickly, the skin clears up. And I'm like, I'm almost 50 years old. I'm 48 and a half. Yeah, I am 48 and a half. March and yeah, so 48 and a half, ha ha. And you know, I get mistaken for 30s very easily and on most occasions. <clears throat> so it really does take a lot of this toxic environment out of your skin because your skin is your third kidney. So if your organs are underperforming, whatever organ, all of them, right? Whether it's the bowel and then there's too much toxicity in the bowel and now the kidneys are overtaxed and now the liver is overtaxed. It's just this cascade effect. If you have a car, you know you change the filters out every once in a while. This is an opportunity to change out the filters or at least clean the filters so that as cells die off and renew, those mechanics can continue to happen. So being able to do this on a periodic basis is very, 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 very important. <clears throat> but to, you know, to clean out the body and to clean out your organs is really just, I, I, can't, I can't stress enough how important that is in such a toxic environment and, you know, foods and different types of contaminants. And even if you're like 16 years old or if you're 20 years old or whatever, you still have toxins. Even if you live in Hawaii on an island and you eat all organic food, you still have toxins just from the normal biomechanics of your body. And, you know, everything has some trace things in it that don't belong in this day and age. So, cheers. That was good. Um, I have to wait an hour before eating so that that can do its business and clean things out. I will note that I did have kidney stones and whatnot in days past, and I don't anymore. Everything checks out. I also had uh, gallbladder stones, and so I had a lot of business going on. And the last time, about five years ago, I did a round of this. Um, gone. So compared to surgery and or the medications and these other things or pulling something out that is important, like the gallbladder, <laughs> to do hydrochloric acid and keep digestive pH proper, um, for the price of these detox kits and to be able to do it through your own biomechanics and not have to you know go through these crazy things. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. I'm just telling you what I've done. And this is amazing, amazing stuff. And there are other things out there. So just find something that speaks to you and speaks to your body. Thank you very much for joining me. Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. You're watching Glenn TV. Down below in the description, there are tons of things going on. Find the link that speaks to your heart and not to your head. And you will find the information you wanted in this lifetime.
If you do like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share, and comment. You know, I like to hear other detoxes, like if, and links to other detox kits and other stories. I love other stories, so like even posting a video of other stories. And coaching, life, business, and spiritual. Also, retreats, boys and girls, don't forget retreats. Very important to share in the like vibration of others. So, thank you very much for joining me. I love all 1,028 of you. I love all of you. And for all the new ones that are coming, yay, welcome. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I did put up a new towel. This was, um, I had another one and I swapped them out. I, I really like the sunset motif and that's like the sunset that I want to enjoy. Like a nice California beach living. So this is the intention and I like the vibration of that towel. It just has a very happy vibration and there's not much up in my room. There's actually nothing up in my room. Um, so that's like the start. I have other things that I have sitting up. I have this. I don't know, I just kind of fell in love with this. It's um, from a film festival, Miami International Film Festival, 2004. Whee! So, I don't know, I thought that was cool. But I haven't taken the time to put it on the wall. I was like, it's, it's sequestered in the corner and I have other things that I could put up on the wall but um, I haven't yet, so. <laughs> I was thinking of doing some paintings myself and putting some paintings up on the wall, like, um, you know, just, just and, and try out some different things, maybe some geometry and whatnot, but um, haven't quite got there yet, but that is the plan. <laughs>